Now, Clemson, uh, you know, Clemson fans are probably not feeling the same way I am with TCU, but it's been another close win for Clemson. They're getting the close wins. They're getting, they're, they're doing just enough to get the W. But how long is that going to last? How long can Clemson keep it up where they're squeaking by victories? Yes, it was Florida State and in Tallahassee, the very tough environment, tough game. And honestly, they probably should have lost that game over a bad officiating rule, but could have, would have, should have, right? You won 37 34. But is this going to be enough leading into the most likely a playoff for them? And in a playoff game, and if right now, if, if they were to play Michigan, are they doing enough to beat a Michigan team? I don't think so. I don't think so. All Clemson has to do is win out. They got a spot in the playoffs, right? Uh, and those games could go overtime. It could be in on a fluke, you know, kind of like the Michigan-Michigan State game last year. Uh, or finish 6-3. Six six Either way, Clemson is just needs to win. And they do that. No style points need to be scored, and you're you're in the playoffs. Good, right? Not not hating. Now, if the season in, we're in today, the they got Michigan. Not really a team you want. The way that Clemson's playing is not, that's not really how you want to play against a Michigan type of team. Now, the, the Clemson Tigers, they have Syracuse up next. Pittsburgh at Wake Forest and South Carolina in the season, then the ACC championship. Uh, and so we'll have to see who that will be. Now, on paper, before the ACC championship, those are all W's, right? But the way Clemson's play, playing, there might be a shocker in those remaining four games, four or five games, four games. So is Clemson doing enough? And are, I mean, they've got to get a couple blowout victories. You know, in the past, Syracuse would have been one. Syracuse, and it still might, but I always, for some weird reason, I keep hope for Syracuse. I always do. With Dino Babers there, I, I keep hope alive for them. But most likely, that's a W for, for Clemson. And while it shouldn't be a 37-34 type of ball game, it feels like one of those games where they're going to struggle here a bit and, and then start to pull away. Maybe the score looks like it uh, doesn't really resemble what the game really was. Yeah, Pittsburgh, a very good uh, one. Clemson gets lucky that it's in the attack Clemson because uh, if it was at Pitt, eh, it's a little tougher. Pat Narduzzi knows how uh, to get the defense prepared. So that's going to be the, one of the most interesting games. At Wake Forest, that should be a good, uh, a, 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 I want to say easy win because of the, so, the, the talent that Clemson has, These a lot of these games should be easy wins. And in South Carolina, I think they should blow them out again. But is Clemson doing just enough to squeak by? Absolutely. But is that going to be able to be enough for the playoff games? I don't think so. I don't think so. And I think Clemson is setting themselves up for basically failure in the end. Because a Michigan team will take advantage of what Clemson's, their, their three and outs, their failed missed op opportunities, they are going to take advantage of it, and Clemson might dig themselves in a hole where they just can't get out. That's how I'm feeling right now. That's how I'm feeling. Let me know if I'm wrong. Tweet me at Short Sports Show.